We see tape inputs on all the digital mixers out there, but how many different input types would you expect to see on a mixer in the sub three to $5,000 category? One, two, what about five? Hey, it's Richard with Presonus, and my friend Jeff Sandstrom is here to show you how to route all five different input types to the tape in section on a Studio Live Series 3. So right underneath the left-right inputs, you'll see tape. Now, this is a dedicated two-channel input that can come from several different sources. So if you just hit the edit button, you can choose what the source will be for that tape input. And so that always shows up on a dedicated fader that's independent of your 32 channels of your normal inputs. So the tape input is sort of always there right next to your talkback input. And you have different sources. So uh, the first one is analog or Bluetooth. So you can basically plug in analog inputs to the tape inputs in the back of the desk, and that would be on. But the Bluetooth is interesting as well because you can pair a Bluetooth device to be able to be connected to these tape inputs. So here's how that works. If I just hold down the Bluetooth button on the desk, it will start blinking. And when it does, then it's ready to pair. So in this case, I'm going to use my phone. So in my Bluetooth settings menu, the Studio Live 32 will show up. So if I just click that, it will pair my device to the console. And I know that it's paired because the Bluetooth light stops flashing and iPhone shows up as device one. So that's a really convenient way to be able to play music or anything else from a Bluetooth enabled device. But there's also other sources. For example, I could connect to the network and play audio through any AVB port that I want to use or the USB connections. Basically, if I'm listening to playback from a computer and I, I have tracks that I need to play as sort of a two mix from my outboard playback source, then I can just select USB inputs for that as well. Also, the SD card, which is right below this section on the console, if I'm not using that card to do any live recording, I can use it as a way to play back pre-show music or other sources, for example, um, that are loaded on an SD card. This is just another way that shows how the Studio Live Series 3 is the most flexible mixing system in its price class, or even in mixers price twice that of ours. Thanks to Jeff and the team at MXU, and special thanks to you, our customers. See you next time.